Around 1990, Ace and the Doctor visited the last resting place of the Wraiths, interdimensional beings that existed in multiple timelines simultaneously, and the home of the Astangir, where unbeknown to her, the Doctor came to check on the Quantum Anvil, a temporal possibility engine created by the Astangir in their war with the Wraiths which shattered the time streams of the latter into infinite potential outcomes leaving them intangible. Ace, while trying to steady herself in a tremor, made contact with the anvil upon being grabbed by the wraiths when she stood too close to their containment. Contact with the anvil ensured Ace was imbued with the ability to commune with the wraiths, but she also saw her life splinter into different outcomes, showing Ace multiple different possible timelines of her future. Dying in a Nitro-9 explosion. It also showed her a life where she never left the doctor, saving worlds as she grew old with him. Ace became angered when the doctor admitted that they'd come so she could touch the anvil, hoping that she would act as an emissary for the wraiths when the time came to establish peace between them and the Astangir. They were attacked by a horde of Astangir and were forced to flee. While trying to evade them, Ace used a can of Nitro-9 to distract them but ended up collapsing the ground beneath them, killing the entire group in the process. She was so traumatized by this that once they returned to the TARDIS, she declared that she was leaving the doctor. But her memories and timeline had been altered by Irving Braxiatel, casting doubt on her account. The doctor gave her a space-time pager to call him when needed, which she did when Rufus told her about an alien encounter. She had to arrange a plan to break out an alien from an estate in Hampshire. She was captured during her plan and was bitten by the vampire Rohija. Ace rescued Mags when she was to be kidnapped by Rufus. She went with the doctor to stop Rufus' plans. She stayed on Earth with Arthur, 